This is the Cerulean Cave. Frightfully strong Pokemon live inside. You'll, you need to be a very special trainer to be allowed in. A champion, recognized by the Pokemon League, in fact. Dude, do you not see the Pokemon floating right in front of you? This is a thing that you are guarding people from. It's out. It escaped. Okay, I'm just pulling your leg. This one's from another universe. A parallel reality to ours. But I don't expect you to understand parallel universes. Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Last time, I pulled a 180 and completed the Pokedex, partially in part due to connections with Pokemon Go and also a now defunct event. This time, we're really going after the Pokemon League to become champions. In between episodes, I did a bit of powering up. I leveled up everyone to level 61 to match for Nambular, and I also gave them all their a bit of a power boost with all my remaining candy that I could use. This is how everyone's stats looks right now. I maxed out for Nambular's special attack, so he's going to be hitting extra hard today. Here's Mythbuster 2. Mad Bomber. Probably the highest attack stat out of everyone here. Maybe? Nope. Balto beats him out by one point. Bugman, it's pretty much unchanged. <laughs> and one last look at their base stats. I think I'm ready to go. I haven't really bought any new items. I haven't been farming any of the respawning items either, but I feel like I have enough to go off of here. Especially with these four max revives. Max elixirs and max ethers and max potions and... Huh, didn't realize I had a couple of full restores. Maybe I should buy a couple more of those. If I can afford them. <laughs> I cannot. That's too rich for me. Indigo Plateau. The highest Pokemon authority. Pokemon League headquarters. And they both say the same thing. I wouldn't be surprised if these paintings were used as the background for Pokemon cards. And then I'm leading off with for with Thor. Almost said for Nambular, but let's enter the league. This is a cool room. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Oh, looks like you finally made your way here. Sure took you a while though. Sorry, I had prior engagements. Well then, allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Laurelli of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. That's because frozen Pokemon can't do a thing in battle. <laughs> are you ready? Oh, the dramatic glasses shift. Ooh, I like that effect. Elite Four Laura Alley. She starts off with a dugong. 
If you've seen my past LPs, you need to know just how good Dugong is. Let's start this off with, uh... Hmm. Eh, Zippy Zap. Oh, so close! Alright, what's it gonna do then? Waterfall. But, uh, let's finish him off with a brick break. Dugong is a water ice type, so both moves are going to be effect super effective against it. Jinx. I think I'm gonna keep battling. A Psychic Ice type. Again, <laughs> it's... I've used one of these in a past playthrough, so it's definitely a formidable Pokémon when the right hands. Wow, twice in a row that I just barely got a KO and two times I dodged her attacks. Eh, let's wash away this bit of ice. <laughs> All right, two down, three to go. Oh, a cloister. Well, I'm definitely staying in for this one. Maybe I should have gone for a mirror match. You know, if this thing can survive a Zippy Zap, then I'm switching to Fernambular. Oh, it definitely survived. Yeah, that's effectively like a... 100 power attack that only did half. And that was with me at 10 levels higher than it. Well, time for a mirror match. Regular versus shiny. <laughs> Not very often that you get to see this sort of matchup. Uh, let's go for Tri Attack. It's the only neutral move I have on it. But it was enough to finish him off. Very nice. And Slowbro. I think I'm going to switch. I think I'm going to go with Bug Magnet. I am being a bit risky here with this choice, since Slowbro is a water psychic type. The only non-ice type so far on her roster. And if it has any psychic moves, then Bug Magnet is in trouble. So I just have to outspeed it with Petal Dance. Okay, good. I outspeed. Oh, and... That's the first one-hit KO of this match. Very nice. Alright. And of course, her last Pokémon is her Ace, Lapras. A Water Ice type. All but the Slowbro have been Pokémon that I've used in the past so far. And there goes Lapras. It's got... Oh, okay, it was a critical hit, so that's why it broke through its defenses so quickly. But yeah, Lapras is a very tanky Pokemon, has ridiculously high defenses. I'm amazed that I got it in one hit. Things shouldn't be this way. 10,400 for winning. Nice. Looks like you've gotten stronger since we last met. Going ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. Okay, so she just says the same stuff. I need to heal Thor. Let's see. He is down about 50, so I'm going with the Super Potion. 
Now then, who should I lead off with for this next battle? I could go with either Fernambular or Mythbuster. I think I'm going to go with Mythbuster since he hasn't gotten a time in the sun yet. Oh, this looks like a very warm room. And his eyes look very empty. <laughs> I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger without limit. Oh, he's got like cat eyes there. I've lived and trained with my fighting type Pokemon, and that will never change. Omega X5000, was it? We will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha! <laughs> That's not the pose I would have expected him to take while saying that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that transition. <laughs> Elite Four Bruno. Despite saying that he's a master of fine types, he leads with an onyx. Alright. Let's see, let's go with an iron tail. Ah, oh, so close. Ooh, stealth rock. Well, that means I have to commit to using Mythbuster for the rest of the match then. Because otherwise then anyone I send out into battle will take damage upon being switched in. Even if it's in between turns. Uh, Dark Pulse. I don't get to use that move often enough, so might as well. Ooh, Machamp. The superpower Pokemon. Capable of unleashing a thousand punches in a quick flurry. It's got an incredibly high attack stat to cause a lot of damage, but it shares the same universal weakness to the psychic that all fighting types do. And ooh, Polyrath. I don't remember him ever having that. That's a new addition. Uh, yeah, let's go with Psychic again. A water fighting type. And the evolved form of Poliwhirl. I don't know much about Polyrath off the top of my head, because I've never used one. Hitmonlee. I'm gonna keep it in Mythbuster. This thing can pack up quite a punch, ironically, with its kicks. I believe it has a high attack stat compared to its counterpart. But it just went down in one hit, <laughs> so it's no problem. And yeah, another Pokemon that I've used in the past. Speaking of which, Hitmonchan. An expert of many punching attacks. This one is built more defensively than Hitmonlee, so it might survive a psychic. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe if it actually survived, then we could have seen what it's capable of. Why? How could I lose? At least that team was a lot more diverse than it usually is. If you have defeated me, then my job is done. Ugh, I may not like it, but go! Go face your next challenge. Hold on. Oh, okay. In previous games, he would always turn to face away from you, so like... If I'm facing here, he would have turned this way, this way, this way, or this way. Ooh. Uh. Oh, 
I know. I'm going to go with Mad Bomber for this one. Explosion won't be of any use here. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to forego the memes for today. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. I hear Oak's taking a lot of interest in you, child. That old Duff was once tough and handsome, but that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fill with his Pokedex. He's a fool. Hey, I already completed the Pokedex, so who's laughing now? Pokemon are for battling. I'll show you a real tra how a real trainer battles. Oh! <laughs> I almost thought she was gonna jab me with the end with one end of her cane. Elite Four Agatha. I like how the top of her cane is effectively just a Gengar. Yeah, so she starts off with an Arbok. We've seen plenty of these throughout the adventure. That's for sure. I don't remember how good defensively this thing is, but... Well, an earthquake from an overpowered golem is sure to knock it out in one hit. <laughs> and Gengar. A ghost poison type that you can only get through trading or transferring. I'm going to go with Earthquake again since this thing can't levitate. I love that aspect about this game. I could just forego some of the more modern conventions in a, one of the most modern games in the series. And a Golbat. I temporarily used one, I think in Pokemon Blue, was it? But I know that's weak to Rock Slide. So, with that, I've clipped Golbat's wings. Definitely a fast poison flying type, to be sure, but I ironically outsped it with a giant boulder. And now Weezing, a pure poison type. And I know that this thing for sure is very tanky defensively, but will it hold up to an earthquake? No, it didn't. <laughs> I think that was her last one. Or my... No, wait, she has another Gengar. I forgot that she... Typically has two Gengars. Surprised that she didn't have a Haunter. I guess she swapped out the Haunter for that wheezing for a bit of variety. But still kept the second Gengar. However. Oh my! You're something special, child! 10,800 for winning. You win. I see what the old Duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Alright. Who am I going to send out? Oh, Balto hasn't had a chance yet. You know what? Actually, I think it would be better if I sent if I lead with Thor. You know what? Thor gave a strong reassuring nod. I like his new crown. Possibly one of the last few times that we can do this. Ape? <laughs> All right. So you're Omega X five thousand. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. 
You likely know that dragons are Pokemon spoken of in legend. They're hard to catch in raids, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your Pokemon League challenge ends with me, Omega X5000. Huh. Elite Four Lance, the final member of the Pokemon League. Oh, I thought he was gonna lead with a uh, Gyarados. But you know what? I think it's more fitting that he leads with a Seedra, considering what it evolves into in later on in the timeline. But for now, that's just a pure water type that. Survived a zippy zap. That's not good. Oof. That did. I think about a third of my health. Well, he didn't heal up, so that's a free KO for me. Alright. One down, four to go. Aerodactyl. Alright, let's send out... Uh, you know what? Frambular. That thing's just asking for a surf to the face. Aerodactyl is a powerful rock and flying type. As with a lot of other Pokemon in this run of the Elite Four, I've used an Aerodactyl in the past. So you can see, see, if you've watched my previous Pokemon LPs, you've seen just how good an Aerodactyl can be. Oh, there's the Gyarados. Alright, time to take out a mighty leviathan with a small electric mouse. This is such a mismatched visual. With the same result as always. <laughs> Charizard? Okay, I was not expecting that. Uh, let's see, I've got two options here. I could go with Rock Slide on Mad Bomber, or I could go with anything on Fernambular. Now, I'm gonna say Fernambular for the final opponent. Charizard! A fire flying type! Definitely a powerful special attacker, for sure. I've used one twice so far on this channel, but it's got a massive weakness to rocks. As that just showed, it got one shy by it. If left on its own, it probably would have done a lot of damage. Wow. And finally, Dragonite. The only dragon type Pokemon in the game. A dragon flying type that started the trend of special Pokemon that coined the term pseudo legendary due to just how powerful they are. They tend to be three stage evolutions that evolve at really high levels. And I just froze it. It's 
wings down so that it couldn't fly anymore. Oh, I think everyone's growing to level 62. That's it! I hate to admit it, but you are a first class Pokemon trainer. 11,000 for winning. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you. Omega X5000, you are now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been. But you have one more challenge left. There's one more trainer to face. That trainer is... Hello there, Omega X5000. Congratulations on your victory over Lance. Why is Professor Oak here? Hmm? What's that look of surprise? <laughs> your timing is perfect, Professor. Omega X5000. The one you will face is... Professor Oak! What? Well, not really. <laughs> it's Travis. He beat the Elite Four before you. <laughs> that was a nice fake out. <laughs> he is the Pokemon League champion. That's right. In the past, trainers who defeat the Elite Four were only recorded as champions. This time, however, we'll be officially establishing the champion as a part of the Pokemon League. Professor Oak is here to officiate the crowning of the new champion. It seems only fitting that it should be either you or Travis. You're the two who took care of Team Rocket, after all. Now then, head onward to the stage of your final battle. Dragonite's so happy. Okay, how much did I you end up... At, do I... Wow. I have over 44,000. Just from those four battles. Okay. Well, Thor definitely needs to be healed. Uh, where's... There's some medicine. Again, super potion. Uh, and a regular potion. Now then, who should I lead with? You know, I probably should stick with uh, Thor. Considering I have a feeling that he's going to be leading with Pidgeot. <laughs> Thor seems filled with determination. Okay, you ready to go, Thor? What? Can I give you... Wow, I have a lot of regular raspberries. Okay. That should be good for now. I look forward to seeing just how high the two of you and your Pokemon can climb. Keep. Now then, head onwards to the stage of your final battle. I like the light show here. Yet. There. We started with Thor and Mythbuster, we're gonna end with Thor and Mythbuster out together. You did, Omega X5000? Oh man, that's great! I've been waiting! I beat the Elite Four and became the champion. You probably heard from the professor, right? From now on, the champion will be part of the Pokemon League and battle all kinds of trainers. I'm really glad my first opponent turned out to be you, Omega X5000. You're the one trainer I want to test my best against, after all. Let's battle. The champion's seat is on the line.
Oh man, this song is really good. Just as I thought. He leads off with Pidgeot. Yet another Pokemon I've used in the past. That thing is a very fast and powerful opponent, but if you can outspeed it... Wait, what? And capable of Mega Evolving! <laughs> I forgot that it could do that! So with Mega Evolution, the Pokémon gains a new appearance and gets a plus 100 to its base stats. So it's even faster, stronger, and tankier than normal. Oh! And this transformation lasts for the entire battle, but it will revert back to normal if it's knocked out. And you are limited to just one Mega per team. And since he busted out his Mega right away, that means that any other Pokémon that he has that could Mega can't aim more. Vi All right. Uh, I kind of want to do another mirror match, but no, that's against my better judgment. I, I'm not doing that. I guess he saw just how well Bug Magnet was doing that he decided to try out his own. That's the only reason I could think of. Let's go for Flare Blitz. Very nice. Oh, and speaking of Bug Magnet, he grew to level 62. Ooh, Slowbro. Time to switch out to Bug Magnet to pedal dance that thing into oblivion. Alright, I already talk, told you about Slowbro. Let's just get to the chase and pedal dance that thing in the face. Both of its faces. And there it goes. Yet another Slowbro down for the count. Ooh, a Rapidash. Don't see too many of those around here. Rapidash is one of the fastest Fire-type Pokémon in the game. That's the only thing that I can... that I know off the top of my head about Rapidash. Uh, let's go with Hydro Pump. I'm glad that... I have not missed with that move once during this playthrough. And if I did, then it probably would have stood out to me if it did. I'm just glad that I didn't miss on this battle. Let's see. Ooh, Jolteon. <sighs> yeah, that Mythbuster has been effectively my secondary starter, so why not have him take on Jolteon? It would be smarter to pit Mad Bomber against this thing because of Earthquake, but this is just thematically fitting. Uh, hmm. Psychic or Dark Pulse, which one do I do? No, it's Psychic will do more damage, and I'm pretty sure that thing's got Pin Missile. Once again, I've used Jolteon on my team before in the past. Ooh, Thunder! And yeah, Jolteon is very fast. Okay, yeah, that definitely said that I used a full restore. Okay, that's a good critical hit. 
And so far he has done nothing to try to fight back. Yeah, that says you used a full restore, and that... Was that his third one? Yeah, whatever. Once the background music keep playing for longer. Oh, if he uses another full restore, then he won't be able to recover from that one. Oh. I guess he only had three full restores. Alright, let's see what his final Pokemon is. Marowak. Wow. I was not expecting that. I guess he really did take in that Cubone that we rescued from Team Rocket and raised it up into a Marowak. Well, we've come a long way. And I just see no better way to end this off than with a bang! <laughs> I just had to. Okay, I admit it. Omega X5000 here, the strongest trainer in the world. 13,680 for winning. Oh man, my reign is over already. That was pretty short. You're the champion now, Omega X5000. And as for me, I've got a new goal to work toward. Omega X5000. So you've done it at last. You've defeated the Pokemon League. My sincerest congratulations. You've grown a great deal since you first caught Pikachu and sent out with that Pokedex. Yes, Omega X5000. You've really come into your own as a fine young man. And Travis, you showed great resolve, never losing heart as you saw your journey through to the end. I did see, though, in the way that you do battle, that kind heart of yours might still be causing you to hold yourself back when it comes to your Pokémon and to facing Omega X5000. It's hardly much of a weakness, but it may have cost you the battle this time. Regardless, the two of you showed us an extraordinary battle, so I... Travis lost because he was too kind. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny, considering that in the originals, Blue lost because he was too much of a jerk. But now Travis is the complete opposite. He was too good of a person to win the battle. Th thanks, Professor. Omega X5000, you understand that your victory was not just your own, darling, don't you? It was the marvelous bond you share with your Pokémon that brought you here. Now, Omega X5000, come with me. It's really, it really feels awkward saying my own username out loud this many times. Smell you later, Travis. Oh! What? I didn't want to save. <clears throat> Congratulations, Omega X5000. This is where we record forever the Pokémon who have performed so admirably for their trainers here at the Pokémon League. I see six pillars. Well, one's off screen. Does that mean that they'll have, like, holograms of my Pokémon on top of them? This is the Hall of Fame! Being honored here is one of the greatest joys a Pokemon trainer may achieve. Oh my X5000, you've battled hard to become a Pokemon League champion. Let's record this great achievement of you and your Pokemon for all to remember.
Congratulations, champion! Fernambula for Balto! Mythbuster 2! Mad Bomber! Bug Magnet! We're running through the multiverse! How long is this tunnel? <laughs> Wait, I think I can see the other side. Kinda of feels a bit weird how Thor isn't, like, on one of those as well, but he stays on my shoulder the whole time. Okay, I think it's just looping now. <laughs> what? And there we have it. The ending to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. This journey definitely was a bit longer than it probably should have been. Mostly because of me taking a, a bit of a extended break partway through. As well as um, going through all sorts of hoops just to complete the Pokedex. And speaking of which... Yeah, this was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, but I still don't find the need... I don't still feel like this was an entirely necessary game. Like, it just kind of feels a bit tacked on to have a second Kanto remake. <laughs> I like the visuals of this game, the the music is spot on. The battles I enjoy pretty much. But the catching mechanics definitely could have used a lot more work. It's very easy to throw in the wrong direction if something's in the way of your Joy-Con. Like, say... A microphone on a tripod. <laughs> I had to move mine off to the side and even then I still have some malfunctions with aiming the pokeball throws. Um, I haven't shown off catching Pokemon in portable mode but that's going to be a bit tricky to record. Oh wow, that's a really nice angle. Is each of these backgrounds supposed to correlate to like a different town? Because it's going through them pretty quickly, like... I don't know where this is supposed to be. I guess maybe of Radiant City, considering it just showed Giovanni. And there we are. <laughs> Something that I literally just did. <sighs> well, there isn't really all too much left to go, but... There's still a few more videos left to go in this playthrough. I still haven't done everything that I wanted to with this. But next time, um...
Why did it save again? Well, looks like Thor has a present for you. A small bouquet. A small bouquet that was made with heart and soul for a single trainer. Thank you, Thor. <laughs> I like, I like it when he just chuckles like that. <laughs> Let's see. Anything else in here? Has anything changed in here? Doesn't look like it, but... That'll be it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Oh good, it did heal me up. <laughs> We've definitely come a long way. Next time on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. More shenanigans at Go Park! <laughs> yeah, we're not quite done with that place just yet. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.